Okay, here we have an old Gemini gate opener. You can see the aging marks here. And I've got a crazy dog. <laughs> Oops. Anyways, it, it, it opens, but it doesn't close this. So, um, this bracket was welded on, so I cut it off. And then there's two bolts, one on this side, one on this side, 13 millimeter spanner, and then this whole thing comes off. Now what I saw was, um, I mean obviously when something like this happens, it does open, it just doesn't close. You know the motor is still working obviously. And now there's a car coming by, just hold on for them. Okay, and so there's probably some switching on, on either the PC board that's, that's gone a wire or these limit switches on the back. Now there's two 10 millimeter bolts here that you open this up and then this slides out. You can get it on the side here. Now what I noticed was if you push the limit switch to the one side, this little LED on the PC board I'm going to focus on the LED, now that goes off. When I push it to the other side, it does not go off. So, I tested this. Um, I'm not going to get my camera stand now, so and I won't be able to test this with one hand. Just hold on one second. It's a problem with filming outside. Okay, testing between these two points um, when switching it lets 20 volt DC through on the other side there is 4 volt DC which um, goes away when you switch I mean this this so it's normally open on this side I uh, normally close on this side normally open on that side on this one the normally closed one works um, when you switch it over I do get the 21 volt going through, um, but hello Riku. Oh, bring your ball nader. Nog nader, bring. Nee Riku, hij is te ver. Bring nader. Nader, pooper. Nader. Bring your ball. Bring your ball. Daar zijn. Oké. So the normally open one does work so because when you switch it over 21 volts go through but the normally closed one when I switch it over it doesn't release it doesn't it doesn't stop the voltage on there going through so I'm going to buy myself a new limit switch put it in and we'll see what happens okay let me quickly show you how I got to that conclusion if you check here on the switch Number two on the top here is a normally closed position, which means when this switch is not pressed, when it's not pressed, um, power will flow through from one to two. Um, that's a normal condition it is in. Um, on number four there, you can see when you press the button, that little lever goes to four. So that's a normally closed switch. So when you press the button, it switches over that one connects to four and release two. So let's test that with the bell tester. Uh, you can use ohm scale, um, but I mean it's easier just to hear it ringing. So you can put it on the ohm scale, and you can see when it goes through, it will be. I mean that is that is open circuit. Uh, when I touch the leads. It will show like that, but I won't be necessarily be able to always look at it. If you know there's not going to be any ohms, it's just going to go straight through like a switch. You just push it over to that side, um, the bell tester. What it does is when you press the leads together, it makes a beep. So let's test this out. Now, from one, let's move this up, from one to two should be closed. 
which it is from one to four should be open which it is now when i press the button one to two should be open now which it is one to four should be closed which it is not you see it doesn't go through although it should have this one doesn't go through there it goes this one nothing happens sometimes uh, there you go uh, it wants to but it doesn't that's why um, when I first opened up the motor before I started the video I did mess around with the with the limit switch a bit and then it closed twice opened closed and then I thought oh cool it's fixed but then it stopped working again it's because the switch works intermediately it doesn't work on it doesn't work as it should so I'm off to buy a new one and I'll show you when I put it in back from the shops this is a new one um, it's got this big lever on here that I'm just gonna cut off here before installing so let's check how it works um, if I come close let's see if we can see you see this one is marked normally closed normally open NC normally closed NC or NO normally open with C as the common where this one gives you a diagram of how it works so now let's check them compare them with the meat on the belt test okay that was a normally closed one normally closed one stops ah, come on Oh, I'm not even in picture. Okay, now a new one on the normally open. Old one on normally open. Okay, there it goes now. But you could see the previous time I tested this, it didn't go through all the time. Um, so obviously the, the drive in the car, a bit of shaking and so on, probably she could lose again, but I'm not going to take that chance. Every time I have to take that, when I open that motor, I have to grind off that bracket. And when I'm done, I have to weld it back on. Um, so I bought a new one. Here it is. I'm going to cut off this, this lever. Come on, focus now on here. There you go. I'm going to cut off the lever here. Because it's not necessary um, that that um, limit switches directly on that little button there so I'll show you when I'm done putting it back in new switches in, in there it's back in um, let's check it out press the button once there it goes which is the limit it's gonna stop it's a very old motor the new motors doesn't work like these they've got a magnet and a counter there you go let me just try to stabilize there you go let's get and that was it replacing that limit switch and very good to go thanks for watching